only as far as Hannah Blondell. Oh, and he's taking the deflection and in. Hi everyone, hope you've all been enjoying the Hyundai Home Advantage program so far. It's been great seeing all your video clips and hearing your training sessions at home. Today we're going to be working on full mastery. As a young player, I know it's not as exciting as a shooting and finishing drill. However, it is important to have to develop balance and close control with both feet. Hi everyone, and thanks for tuning in to another Hyundai FC's Home Advantage. I'm Coach Andy, and for this training session, we're going to be working on ball mastery. Billy Gilmore has great technique and amazing ball mastery skills. Here is a video of Billy practicing his ball mastery at home. He is performing the Maradona 7 and making it look easy, and trust me, it's not. We would love to see your video and attempts of you trying this at home. Keep working on your drills, practicing your skills, and try and become as good as Hannah and Billy. For our first drill setup, it's myself, a couple of objects, and my football. First thing we're going to start off with, and in this drill, we're going to get used to the ball being under control and comfortable at my feet. First one I'm going to start with is going to be step overs going round the ball without touching it. So I'm going up, round the ball with one foot, up, round the ball with other foot. Once I get comfortable, I'm going to get my chest up, going to move my feet, try and dance round the ball without touching. Now I've practiced that, I'm going to go a little bit faster. As fast as I can, around the ball 10 times without touching. For this next one, I'm going inside of my feet, side to side. So one foot to the other. Again, light on my feet, building up my confidence, building up my speed. Getting my head up every now and then to have a look forward. This one, I'm going to use the sole of my foot in two different directions. So I'm going to push forwards, back, but then out to the side, back in. So I'm forwards, back, in a hopping motion on my other foot. Then swapping sides, forwards, out to the side, forwards, out to the side. Getting balance, getting my head and chest up when I can, pushing and manoeuvring that ball with me completely in control. For the next one, I'm going inside and then sole of my foot in a pushing motion. So I'm light on my toes, I'm pushing the ball out, stopping with my sole, bringing back in. Pushing out, stopping with my sole. Pushing out, stopping with my sole. Inside sole, inside sole, inside sole. Swapping to the other side, eight this way. Laces and then stop. So pushing out with my laces, stopping. Pushing out with my laces, then stopping. Building up a bit of a rhythm be working and manipulating that ball. Same the other side. This time I'm going to challenge myself to go left foot, down, right foot, down, foot comes behind, touch on top. Then the other way, touch, touch, foot behind, touch on top. A little bit faster, it will look like so. As a progression, I'm now gonna start moving with the ball. So I'm back to toe taps, but I'm gonna move the ball sideways, back to the middle, dragging out forwards, backwards to the other side, keeping the ball always under my control. Same thing with the insides of my feet. So moving quickly, adjusting my feet. Can I go sideways, forwards, backwards? back into the middle to finish, getting plenty of touches with the ball. For this next one, I've brought my obstacles in a little bit closer, and I'm gonna be working both feet. I'm going inside of left, outside of left, sole of left. Then I'm gonna go straight on, inside of right, outside of right, sole of right. So once this is combined, I'm gonna work these six touches. In, out, sole. In, out, sole. In, out, sole. In, out, sole. For 
for this next combination, I'm going to use four different touches on my foot. So it's out, in, laces to drive forward, back with the sole of my foot. Now I'm here, it's out, in, laces, sole. I'm now going to challenge myself to combine the two and go a little bit quicker. Out, in, laces, sole. Out, in, laces, sole. And here is Hannah Blundell, Chelsea women's fullback, working on some ball mastery drills at home. Start with drag outside, drag laces, drag inside. Uh, drag outside, drag laces, drag inside. Make sure you do it with both feet. Drag outside, drag laces, drag inside. Again, drag outside, drag laces, drag inside. So once you get the basics, you can obviously go at a quicker pace. So you go. Drag, outside, drag, laces, drag, inside, drag, outside, drag, laces, drag, inside. Again, try left foot, drag, outside, drag, laces, drag, inside, drag, outside, drag, laces, drag, inside. Once you get really comfortable, you can also use some household items. For me, I'm going to use my dog's toys. So we're going to do is put them like that to make gates. So you get the ball through the gate. So do it at a slow pace first. Drag outside, drag laces, drag inside. Do it again. Drag outside, drag, drag inside. Now, so again, got a quicker pace. Drag. See how many you can do in 60 seconds. Here is drill two of ball mastery. And for this one, we have set up a H for home advantage. And we're going to show you ways to manipulate and move your soccer ball around this shape. I'm going to start at the top of my H here. For the first one, I'm going to be using the soles of my feet in our toe taps motion. And I'm going to work it around the shape. So to start, I'm dragging the ball backwards. Forwards now into the middle. Now sideways, working across. Back. And the last one to finish off my letter. Back to the top. Now I'm going insides of my feet. Remember that when I'm going backwards, I want to point my toes and get them in front of the ball and dragging it back with me. I'm light on my feet to come backwards. In. Can I go nice and sharp across the side? Dragging back. Nice and quick to finish off. Here I'm going inside, outside to forwards, and then using the sole of my feet to get in and out of the objects in the middle. So quick in and out, now soles of my feet to drag through, in and out again to go forwards. Now I'm changing feet to my right foot, quick feet in and out, soles of my feet, dragging forward backwards, quick in and out. For this next progression, I'm gonna do a V shape around the cone. So it's down one side back, down the other side, keeping it nice and tight. Shuffling across, coming inside first, drag back, outside. So it's that V shape around the cones. I'm going to attempt to do this six times while moving up through the course. Wish me luck. Come inside first. Going inside, drag back, inside, drag back. Last two here. In, drag, in, drag. Last one. For the next progression, I'm going to combine using both feet and the cone in front of me. So the first one is four touches to work myself around the cone. So it's forwards with the sole, cross, backwards, across. Once I've done that, I'm coming into the middle. For quick step overs, four of those, back out here. Same thing with my left foot around the cone. Forwards, across, back, across. Driving to the top. Left foot again, but this time I'm gonna start outside of the cone. So when I drag forwards, I'm gonna have to drag across with my other foot. Back in, into the middle for some dancing. Four of those, back to finish again 
on the outside of the cone. So forward, across, back, across, finish it off. Now I'm going to challenge myself and try to do this as quickly as possible. Here it goes. Go! Starting here on the outside of the cones, into the middle, quick dances. One, two, three, four. The last one, outside of the cone again. Driving in and time. For drill three of ball mastery, we're going to start getting the ball in the air and work on some jumping moves. So to start off with, I'm going to have the ball in my hands, I'm going to kick and catch. When I'm doing this, I want to have my toes pointing back towards my body, being nice and relaxed. I can either hunch over a little bit, so I'm guiding it back to my hands. I'm going to work one foot, then the other. Now I'm going to try and go alternate feet. So one right, one left, and then catch. For me, I'm right-footed, so I might start with my weaker foot. So I might go left, right, then catch. For this next part, I'm going to use my thighs. So I'm going to thigh and catch. Now how I like to practice this is bring my thighs up really high as if I'm marching. Then for the first one, can I drop the ball on my thigh and catch again? Now I'm going to try and do two, one on each leg. And again, one on each leg and catch. My challenge now is can I go two on my feet, two on my thigh and catch. So I'm going to go left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. All staying within the square, all keeping the ball under control. Now I'm going to challenge myself to go feet to thighs, feet to thighs, three times. So it's foot, foot, thigh, thigh. Foot, foot, thigh, thigh. Foot, foot, thigh, thigh. This time I'm going to attempt the magic five. Now the last part of this is going to be a cushion header back down to my feet and try and keep the ball up. I know heading is not always advised for the younger players, but with this, it is just going to be a soft cushion back down to our feet. If you are not comfortable with this, then please do not attempt. I managed to do it three times in a row. How many can you do? I'm now going to challenge myself by using different parts of my foot while juggling. So the first one, I'm going to try and use the outside. So I'm going to juggle the ball nice and low, and I'm going to pop it up, bounce on the outside of my foot, and keep it going again. One more time, outside of my foot, and keep it going. For this last one, I'm going for around the world. I'm going to start with the ball balanced on my foot. To get it balanced, I'm going to point my toes towards my body and have the ball between my toes and shin. Then I'm going to lift the ball up in this motion. As I do that, quickly get my foot round and try and catch again and keep the ball up the other side. So it's up, round, keep the ball up. So while I'm doing this, while I'm juggling, so around the world while juggling, I need to kick the outside of the ball and I bring my foot up to add some spin and get round quickly. So whilst I'm juggling, quickly round and keep up again. One more time. Like so. Here's the ball mastery skill circuit. So to start with, I'm going with 10 step overs up and around the ball. Once I've done that, I am going inside to my feet, out to the side, forwards, backwards, out to the other side. And the last one in here, I'm going out, in, laces, back, out, in, laces, back. Now I'm moving on to my H. When I get to the H, I'm starting in the top corner. I'm going to use both feet, dragging the ball back. Once I get up to here, forwards again. Now one foot only, in and out, before coming back, before driving, soles of my feet. To the top. Last part of the challenge, can I do 10 keepy uppies before I do a magic five 
and then keeping the ball up, can I get to my finish gate? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's to my magic five. Foot, foot, die, die, head, and then turn with the ball, dribble and keep it up to the finish gate. So here's my attempt at my final ball mastery challenge. Wish me luck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inside, outside, laces, sole, in, out, laces, sole. Now I'm onto the H. Soles on my feet, dragging it back. And forwards. Now getting in and out of each one. I'm onto 10 keepy uppies before the magic five. Two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the magic five. Foot, foot, thigh, thigh, head. Now I'm going to keep the ball up to the finish line. And tie. Thanks for tuning in and watching today's training session on ball mastery. As you can see here, there are lots of activities you can do to improve at home. Pick an area of your game you would like to improve on and make sure you are practicing to improve on this area. We look forward to seeing your videos at how you are getting on. Keep up the good work and keep safe. See you next time.